Chill, Matt G, the Ghost Lady, and Len Moleko. Enda, what mean? Welcome to it. It is uh, Women's Month, ladies and gentlemen, and I am chilling with the one and the only LKG. Wow. Wow. Hearing that name, LKG. What do you, What do you like being called? No, Lerato Kanya for LKG, whichever one. The yeah. mother. Uh, she's a model, she's an actress, she's a businesswoman, she's an influencer, TV, radio presenter, DJ. What am I missing? Uh, nothing yet. Oh, and she's a mother. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a mother. Yeah, well, not, not really a mother, but I'm a mother. Because why do they call you, me mother. Why do, why do people call you mother? Um, I don't know why they call me mother of the nation. I think it's, a, it's just that motherly thing that I have, you know. Um, and I think also with regards to I've always wanted to be a mother. So people just gave me the name to say, you know what? You can be a mom without having children that are mm. biologically yours. A mother is one who takes care of everyone in the community, whether it's their own child or not. It's the one that takes care of everybody. Don't you want to so, be my mother so you can breastfeed me all day? <laughs> <laughs> Your girlfriend is here. <laughs> That is so weird. No, I, no. I see, so, yeah. I see, I see. Yeah. But anyway, Lerato, thanks for coming, dude. How long have you been wanting to do this? Uh, Since last forever. year. Forever, <laughs> yeah. But I've been so reluctant because I'm like, this one, Otong <laughs> Praya. <laughs> I don't know if I want to sit down with my guy. But, but Not thank even, you. man. Do thank you still you. remember the first time we met? Um, all I remember is, sorry, girlfriend, once again. <laughs> I used to have a major crush on my guy. You lie, Lerato. No, Bible. Bible. <laughs> And I think Mo Flavor knows this. I used to have a huge crush on MacGyver until the one time I met him. I can't remember where it was. I think it was one of these YFM events. And you're very like... Ah. And I was like... (laughs) Is that happy, bro? Okay. Okay, my guy. So that crush ended years ago. I was like, oh, that's it. Goodbye. So you couldn't... But no, no, no. I think it's it's the reason why, besides the fact that you were so... Oh, you're still so handsome. Uh, it's wow. because of your... You were so driven. You know, yeah. Um, yeah. This is one thing that I'm really attracted to. You were so driven at a very young age. Wow. And a lot of us were really, truly inspired by you. Yeah. And your drive and what you're doing then. You know, the condoms, the yeah. events that you guys had, the rock the girls. Yeah. So I think it was just that. And you were just the, the hip and happening boy that everyone wanted to be around. Even the guys sure. wanted to be around MacGyver. So, yeah. Lerato, you could have been part of my list. No, not even <laughs> guest list. He was, he, looked, he was like, who's the Soweto girl? Uh, but now, look at me. <laughs> he can't even have me now. <laughs> okay, uh, who's got a girlfriend? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Because I think, correct me, if, correct me if I'm wrong. I yeah. think the first time I met you, it was at Mo Flavor's house. He was having a chillers, and I think you were dating one of his friends. Mo Flavor's house? Yeah. Never. You got the wrong person. It wasn't you. Bible. No, you got the <laughs> wrong person. You can't even keep up. <laughs> I have never been to Mo Flavor's yeah. house. Yeah. No, no, no. I've never okay, been. Okay, but I first heard of you on Soweto TV. No, of course, yeah. And then prior yeah. to that, you won Miss Soweto. Yeah. Was oh, that where your career started, Vel? Yeah. I mean, um, we, it was actually... So I have like a long, weird career. Mm. I was actually in aviation many years ago. I was mm. a flight attendant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for about four years, this is when I was still trying to find myself. Yeah. You know when you're young and you don't yeah. know what to do with your career. So at that time, I thought being cabin crew was like the best thing ever. And you studied until, for it? Yeah, I did. I did travel and tourism. So until I actually got into it, then I was like, mm, it's not for me. It's weird. It's mm. not for me. Mm. But there are obviously people that really love it, pa- that are really passionate about it. Yeah. And then that's when I got into television, well, the beauty industry, and then I moved to television. So, so, yeah. so Miss Soweto, like, did you think you were going to win it? Like, what made you want to enter it? My guy, I didn't think I was going to win at all. So yeah. I entered... Because I wanted to prove a point to my family mm. that I was no longer that tomboy. Ah. And that also, you know, I could be that girl. Yeah, yeah. So, but this was after Miss Jamily because there was Miss Jamily. Miss Miss Jamily. <laughs> Where I won a gem plus. But, <laughs> no, but I think it was mostly just to prove to my folks mm. that, you know, I am a grown woman. I'm that girl and I can be that pretty girl, yeah. you know. And so I growing up, you never felt like you were pretty. No, not at all. Wow. I was, I, if you look at my baby pictures, which I'll send to you later, mm. I look like a boy. Mm. I actually look like you. <laughs> <laughs> same complexion, same hair, same everything. Yeah. Uh, except the eyes, the hazel eyes that you got. Yeah. But, you know, it was... I, Are you I hitting was on me? Cl- hey? Are you hitting on me? No. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. 
Wow, MacGyver. No, not age. Yeah, girl, from 50 upwards now. <laughs> You're a bit too young for me now. No, no, we've moved on. Levels. No, but legit. No, but legit. I, I, I didn't think I was pretty. I wasn't confident enough. And um, But it comes with age where I started looking at certain things. And I'm like, oh, actually, I have a great eyes. Because people say, oh, my God, your eyes are stunning. Mm. And you start appreciating yourself as a woman the older you get. Get, yes. So, um, yeah. And then I entered Miss Soweto. I did not think I was going to win at all. And not because I didn't think I didn't deserve to. Yeah. But there was just so many really talented, it sounds cliche, but there were so many beautiful girls. Who was part of the... Light-skinned them? girls, that is. Who was part so, of the... Do you remember any girls from... That might be famous <sighs> Yeah, the, well, the one that I remember, there was a girl called Dora. Oh. Who was tall, light. Majority of the girls were light-skinned. Oh. And I remember Drum Magazine wrote an article and said, after so many years... Miss Soweto is dark skin, a dark skin ah. Miss Soweto. So this is where now colorism comes in or yeah, whatever. Yeah. But I didn't think I was going to win because a lot of Miss Soweto's were very light skinned and were very tall, mm. had long hair. And here I come in dark skin. Yes, I had the weave and stuff, but you know, it was just, I didn't think I was going to, I didn't think I was pretty enough. So when you won, what did your parents say or your family? My family was like, because I remember my mom's facial expression like, oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> We are in trouble now, yeah, you yeah. know. But I mean, she was so excited. And um, it was just a great moment in my life. It, that really boosted my self-confidence. Nice. Um, like a lot, yeah. like major. And it opened so many doors for me. So, yeah. Like what kind of doors? Um, like, you know, just being part of certain campaigns, mm. endorsements-wise, you know. Um, before Instagram and influencers. Before Instagram. Uh, uh, honey, I've been there, child. <laughs> I mean... I look at that and I'm like, we've been there. <laughs> <laughs> the money wasn't as much as now. Like, yeah, you know, we've been there. We've been doing this thing. Yeah, yeah. No, but truly speaking, it was just, it opened doors also with um, television. So when did know. Soweto TV come knocking? Soweto TV came, no, I knocked. Mm. Well, actually, this is a weird story. Okay. So Soweto TV launched, right? And I attended the launch with my late best friend, Goyo. And um, when we got there, they had a presenter missing because they were going on air that day. Mm. So this white lady from Urban Brew came to me and she said, listen, we are missing a presenter. And you look like, you know, and I heard you are Miss Soweto. Can you do this? And I'm like, I've never done television before. Live television for that matter. Yeah. And that's how Soweto TV began. And how and long were you there for? I was at Soweto TV for, for four to five years while flying. Wow. Yeah. While flying, while being cabin crew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would literally finish, because the show that I was doing then, there was a show called Open Door Policy. So I'd do the show, finish at 9 in the evening, go home, sleep until like 3 a.m. And then I had, you know, a a flight at like 5 a.m., whatever, because I was flying for an airline called SA Express. No (laughs) No free advertising, (laughs) but, you know, uh, a local local airline. And I had like very early call times. Yeah. So I was trying to balance the two until I got to a point where I was like, this is not working. Mm. So what exactly do I want to do was the hardest decision I had to make because I had to part ways with like a salary. How much were you earning there? I, um, it wasn't even that much. When you fly in domestic, it's about 12,000 rand. Sorry, if I to, I, that was me then. <laughs> <laughs> but no, legit, it was about 12,000 rand. A month? A month, wow. yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And um, whereby I was sold on TV then, I was not getting paid at all. So Zero? Nothing. No, no, wow. I was volunteering for about three years. Wow. Yeah, we're not getting paid. Yeah. So, and I thought, oh, let me take a risk and go for this thing that I love. And it's all about passion. So, I quit flying and I legit started Soweto TV. It was the hardest three years of my life because financially, obviously, yes. I was struggling. Yeah. Then I had bought a Mini Cooper. I just bought a Mini Cooper when I was flying. Now mm. I had to maintain this thing. I nearly got the car repossessed. Wow. I remember my mom had to say, I didn't say anything to my mom. Mm. I had lied to my parents that I was getting paid at Soweto TV, by the way. Mm. So they thought I was like, cool, you know. I missed payments for about three, four months. Sheriff came in and was like, yo, we want this car. My mom is like, what? <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? This girl is getting paid. I was like, well, see what had happened. Well, I'm, for the past couple of years. Yeah. But it was hard. But, you know, that's when I was getting MC gigs here and there. But I love that I went through that because yeah. today I respect money and I respect mm. what I do. Yeah. I feel like if I, there's people who do it the other way around. Yeah. Do you know who shoot straight to the top and i feel like me because i started at the bottom i get to understand yeah it's kind of like my career i went to the top now i'm at the bottom yeah, so yeah. no you're not at the bottom <laughs> sweetie. no 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 you're just there you're gonna you're in the middle you go back to the top no you're taking a breather no legit 
Never ever say you're at the bottom. Mac MacGyver will never be at the bottom. I mean, you are a whole MacGyver. You'll never be at the bottom. But you I understand what you're saying. Yeah, I respect yeah, yeah. money more now yeah. than I did when I started. Correct. I mean, yeah. it, it, it's like with you. I, I asked you off camera earlier on that. Did you ever feel at some point that you shot up too soon? Yes. Would yes. you have, if you had turned back the, the hands of time, would yeah. you have done it the other way around? Yeah, 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 yeah. Would you have? Uh, no, listen, I don't think I would have because... Um, and I'm trying to sound like Oprah now, but <laughs> the words aren't coming. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. But I know what you mean. But you know what? Everything happens for a reason. Yeah. I think like my journey, I've learned more now yeah. than I would have had I True. like, you know, started from the bottom yeah. and worked my way up. Yeah. Because now you. if I do get back to the top, I know what to do. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? I love that. Yeah. I love that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if I didn't go through all this hardship and whatever, I wouldn't know what I know now. Correct. So I, I can't say like, I wish it was yeah. another yeah. way. Yeah. 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 So you see, it happens with other people. It happens the other way yeah. around. With me, it was the other way around, and yeah. that's why now I'm like, yo, I have the utmost respect for what I do, the craft, and I have respect for money. I have people that I work with. But at no point, at no point, do you get to like, all right, cool, you better lose this car. Yeah. You're doing this gig, so it's a TV. It's not paying. Uh, you're looking at all these other it girls. They're getting all these yeah. nice cars, all these yeah. deals. Yeah. At no point did you sit down and be like, fuck it. This is not for me. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. There was a lot of times where I just wanted to quit. Where I was like, Mang Mang is doing so well. Oh my God. Because at the same time, I'm going for auditions. Mm. And I'm not getting these gigs. So that's very discouraging. You know. Where what, you go, what auditions are you going for? I went for live amp auditions. Oh. Well, it was live then. I went for auditions. I did, live, I did auditions live on TV. Mm. Lost out on that. I went for auditions for so many other shows, bro. Like a lot of shows. I think it was more than 50 or 100 wow. before I got my first big gig, which was on SABC1, The Link. You kidding, you know, No, Bible. I'm not even lying to you. Yeah. And hence, when I say, when I speak to young people, you know, the 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 younger, the, the current generation. Yeah, the say, current crop. Yeah, that, you know, it's so important for you to be patient. Baby, please give me uh, the, the charger for the laptop. It's about ah, to die. It's yeah. like going to be on camera. Yeah, don't worry. We freestyle that's it, so, yeah. That's so dope. <laughs> oh, baby. Yeah, don't show your face, though. Ah! <laughs> Why are you scared? He's so jealous. <laughs> he's scared so he's scared someone is going to shell her. Hey, there's vultures out here. Is it too short? I think I have a, isn't there another one here? No, it's charging. It should be. Wait, wait, wait. Let's just wait. Yeah. Should be fine. Yeah. Charging. We're okay. good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So oh, where was I? You told these kids. Yeah, I say the to them, crop. you know, it's it's the importance of being patient because a lot of people want like instant fame, they want instant money, they want instant success. And it's a lot you of know? hard work. It's it's genuinely and I think a lot of people see us now mm. and they think we just like popped up from nowhere, like we are mushrooming from nowhere. But they don't understand the fact that we've had to work so hard to be where we are now. But I also know that there's a lot of people that hide the fact that or deny the fact that we've worked hard mm. because, you know, some people just want to damage your reputation. Like, no, but she hasn't worked so hard. She's been there. Especially or she slept with, with women. Mang Mang. Exactly. And, and that's the unfortunate part is every time a woman gets a job, it's either she slept with someone oh. or she because she's someone's cousin or she's whatever. Why can't it be it about can your talent? Be, it can never, but they never do that with guys in the industry. Mm. They never do that with, with gentlemen in the industry. And it's really unfortunate. But it's not only entertainment industry, but it's all the industries yeah, where broad. a woman's success is always questioned. But us as people, we need to start changing that mindset that actually there are women who work really hard out there. If there's a pilot out there, do you think that she slept away to the top? Because mm. a lot of us would be dead. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then when did you get your first big break? Was it the link? It was, it was, do you know, I always say the link, but I would say the LKG show on So Way to TV because the mm. LKG so, uh, show became the biggest oh, thing. Oh, that was huge. Yeah. It became, no one thought that it would be it would become what it was then, you know. I mean, we were sitting on close to a million on a community channel because people were so intrigued and so interested in this show and the people that were coming on the show, the content, the way it was shot and stuff. And I mean, I work, I work with the light of the likes of Marvin, who was on Live Amp, and Stula, and um, Legend, who's doing like a lot of reality shows mm. now. But um, it's it's... Yeah, it was. I think it was the LKG show. That's when people got to know who Lorato is. Do you plan on having your own reality show? I'm very reluctant about it. It's mm. so weird because I got calls that I have. Hey, 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 no, no, no. But I'm, I'm very because I feel like 
Magaba, I'm very boring because I am very particular about what I want people to know about me. Yeah. And a lot of people, all they know about me is my work. Mm. Do you know what I mean? My, mm. They don't know where I live. They do, except you now. Yeah. Oh, Lord, don't tell them. Now I know that. how the 1% lives. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but all they, they know nothing about my family. I'm extremely protective when it comes to my family. I don't post pictures of my family. I don't <coughs> po- post pictures of my parents. Mm. Um... It's just, it's, it's, so I feel like it would be boring. I, I know people love gossip. So people don't want to watch me working 24 seven. And that's all. That's, the, that's the only content that I'm willing to give yeah. even on my pages, on my social, social media platforms. And someone said to me the other day, the reason why your following might not be picking up as quick mm. as the others is because you don't post about your personal life. Yeah. You don't, yeah. you don't post about who you're dating, yeah. who you're engaged to. But I learned the hard way because I dated a footballer. Oh, many years ago. Uh, Gatleko, Mashiro, Mashiro, yeah. I was yeah. engaged to him. Is it? Yeah, How was that yeah. like? I mean, we were together for four years. It was, it was, it was hard, but I also feel like it was also a learning, a learning chapter of my life. Do you know what but I always ask ladies that date soccer players? There's yeah. always these stereotypes about soccer players. Mm. Uh, are the stereotypes true or majority? Yeah. 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 And you found 80, that the hard way. Eighty percent. Yeah, yeah. I had to find that out the hard way. Yeah. But I mean, uh, the older they get, the better they become. I think. Mm. Uh, but he's gone on. I mean, he's become a remarkable young man. He's doing his last year in law. He's, oh, not he's serious. A, that's wow. Insane, right? Shout now out I'm to like, him. Hey, Katlejo, you <laughs> want a hand? I'm joking. <laughs> no, but I mean, he's just he's he's done really well for himself. So you broke up with him, or vice versa? Yeah, yeah. I broke up. Um, I broke up. No, I broke up with him. Yeah. It was. And so you engaged. Yeah, so what we went through a lot, you know, there was a lot of infidelity happening he from cheated. his side or your side? From his side. Okay. Um, and I speak openly about this. I I have the utmost respect for him. He knows that. Mm. But I mean, uh, he cheated, um, and it was all over social media. It was in the papers. But I still stayed with him. But, um, but I why realized, would anyone want to cheat on you? Uh, why would anyone che- anyone want to cheat on Halle Berry and <laughs> Beyonce? <laughs> Who the hell do I think I am? <laughs> I mean, come on. Y'all just cheat for the sake of cheating. A fly goes past and you're like, ah, my cheat, that's it. <laughs> there goes that fly. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying, like, it's, it's, and. What did you realize? Unfortunately, no, unfortunately with him is, is he, uh, because I stayed, a lot of times what men or women don't realize is that because I'm staying, it does not mean that I'm stupid. Or I've got nowhere else to go to. It's because I love you. Mm. And I've, I have a bit of hope. And I'm hoping that somehow you will change. Mm. You become a better person. But at the same time, the heart chips away. Mm. Women are so weird. We start falling out of love in the relationship. Hey. We start mourning the relationship while we're in it. Hey. So when I parted ways with him, I was already done. And he, unfortunately, at that time, he was like, I want to settle down now. Mm. I want to get married. Too late. But my heart was like... I, and I left when we were very happy. It was so weird how I left. When I left our relationship, he had woken up in the morning, had gone to training, and I woke up, I packed everything of mine, and I took all my clothes to the front. He came back and he was like, yo, babe, where are you? And I was like, I'm gone. Wow. He's like, okay, so when are you coming back? And I said, never. Hey, you are cold. No, but I mean. Hey, you are cold. <laughs> so that's how our relationship ended. But I still, I, I love him. I still have the, I love him as a friend, as a brother. You know, we'll never get back together though. He knows yeah, that. that. That's one thing I've noticed about ladies. When they're done, they're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, there's nothing that's you can me. do. I don't use the same tea bag twice. Hey, no. But do you tea bag though? Ah, <laughs> MacGyver. <laughs> no. No, I don't. <laughs> okay, but have you ever cheated on someone? Um. <laughs> <laughs> What is cheating? <laughs> <laughs> Let me take a sip of my drink. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, because it Have goes I both ever, ways. Um, you know, it's I get it that we are being honest, now, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And I'm only being honest because you, my guy. Yeah. So. I have cheated. Mm. I have cheated before, and I don't want to make an excuse and say because the other person was cheated, mm, mm. but I have cheated on someone, and I w- I'm not proud of it. I was not proud of it yet. Yeah. But cheating is like the admin, my guy. Mm, dude. Yo, it's like walking on eggshell every five <laughs> seconds because now when the phone rings, they're like, yo, 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 yo. Yeah. It's MacGyver calling, you know, yeah. and now I'm with Tabby, so, and it's like, what the hell? So I have cheated for my own reasons, but there's no excuse for cheating. But I'll never do it again. Yeah, so when you did it, you're like, nah, this is not for me. 
Yeah, it's it's not because Linda Maka, I I I I can't keep up with my lies. I'm so dumb. Dude, I'm the worst cheater. Ever. I am the worst cheater. Like I can't keep up with my lies. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, no. Mm-mm. Yeah, yeah. And do you have, do you ever plan on like having kids and settling down? Or I do. I do want. I mean, I've been. I've openly spoken You've been about. <laughs> I actually have. Oh yeah. Friend, failing dismally. <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing at that. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> but I love that he's laughing at that. No, no, legit. Um, I mean, I've openly spoken about the two miscarriages that I had, which oh, was a wow. very painful, was a very painful moment in my life that mm. I wouldn't wish on anyone else. And what a miscarriage does to a woman, well, specifically for me, is that it discourages you from from falling pregnant. You become mm. scared. There's that fear that's now automatically automatically instilled in you. And, um, I mean, I've been trying with And it's my a sensitive pod. issue. It's very sensitive. It's, that's why I, I choose who I speak to about it because there's just people who speak about it, like, abruptly. But I, I, when I speak about it, I want to speak about it in my own terms, you know. Yeah. Um, it was a very, very painful time in my life. And I've been twice losing, wow, that's... A, you know, two children that I thought, the second one I really thought was going to make it, yeah. you know. Yeah. And it was just really painful. It's almost like when I go to a hospital now, I, I, you know, the smell, I always mm. remember that day, what had happened. I hear the footsteps. I hear the oh. doctor saying, you know, I remember I was laying on the bed and um, the doctor was trying to find, you know, the baby with the scan, with the scan. What do you call it? The kind of game? Ultrasound. Ultrasound. I kept saying, how's the baby? Is the baby okay? I don't know. Don't worry. The doctor's coming. And. Well, well, this was the nurse, and she said, the doctor's coming. And when she said that, I said, uh-uh, something is not right. You know, oh, we went shit. for x-rays, then we came back. How many months were you in? I was five. Wow. Yeah, with the now you're already attached. Five. Yeah, yeah. With the second one, I was five. Yeah, it was five months. Because I remember when my baby mama was pregnant, like, from week one, she was attached to the baby. Yeah, you know? yeah. You do get attached. Yeah. You do get attached. So I just have a fear now of, like, yeah. falling, because I have, you know, a fear of falling pregnant at Becky. Like they would say, and so to, you know, I mean, mm. that's like a rude way of saying it. I've had people say that to me on social media. She can't even carry a child. But, you know, as I just have that fear of losing a child, falling pregnant, and then going through all of that again, you know, feeling like lesser of a woman, mm. feeling like you can't carry full term. Okay. Um, it's just, it's a really painful process. And now, recently, when I've been trying to fall pregnant, um, Every time I get my periods, bruh, it's like, it's the most painful thing ever. It's wow. the most painful. It, you know, when you are younger, you want to get your periods. You're like, yeah. oh my word, when am I having my periods? When they get there, you're excited. Mm. But now it's the complete opposite. When I get my periods, I become so disappointed because I know that, okay, yeah. uh, we need to try again. No, you but know? you gotta, I mean, what I like is that even though with the, with the hardship that you went through, you're still willing to try. Yeah, yeah, I am. But now I've... I, I'm going for IBF, okay. so I'm officially freezing my eggs. Okay. Um, so I'm starting the IBF uh, process, but I'm also looking into surrogacy. Yeah. So, um, I mean, there's different options out there. There's a yeah. lot of women that have given up. I get emails and DMs from women that have been trying for yeah. many years, you yeah. know, and that are like, I've officially given up. There's other options. There's adoption, there's IBF, there's surrogacy, and etc. So, but it's hard because yeah. you, you, you've, I've always wanted to carry the natural way, yeah. full term, have natural birth, mm. but you know, sometimes you can't, God can't give you everything. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. True. Yeah. And uh, who's your partner? I don't have one now. You lie. Yeah. Cause I dumped him like. When? Two weeks ago. You kidding. So. <laughs> Are you a daily naked DJ? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen him naked? <laughs> Is it true though that you're dating naked? Mm, no, I'm not dating naked, man. You know, naked is a very. I was t- telling you about him earlier on. Yeah. I'm not dating naked DJ. We've been friends for many years, by mm. the way. Um, before he got married. But if you were dating him, would you say I, I was? Uh, if I was naked? dating naked DJ, would I say hell yeah? He's a remarkable guy. Mm. Naked is the. Is the type of guy that I would want to date. Uh, like, no, that huh? Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 but legit. Naked DJ is the type of guy that I would want to date because he's so selfless. He's so caring. Yeah. He's, and he's just a really good friend. You know, we've been there for each other. 
um, with his recent divorce, you know, I was there yeah. for him and vice versa. Am I dating him? No, not yet. Um, not yet. Yeah, I'm <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm a dating maker. Chick. Okay, cool. Let's get into radio, ne? Mm. Uh, because you've worked with a lot of co-hosts. Mm. Um, mm. Let's name some of them. It's um, Okay, right now you're working with uh, Sumizi. Do you know Yeah. Uh, I worked with Bonang. Uh, For like two hours. <laughs> 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 no, but I'm being honest. It was, <laughs> it was like for two hours. Who else have you worked with? Uh, Mo Flavor. Mo Flavor, who else? Uh, ooh, um, 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 William Lehong. William Lehong. Yes. So yeah. those are the only names. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want you to rate your co host from least to favorite. Yo! Yes. <laughs> Let's start with least. Who was the least? Okay. <laughs> Come with it, girl. You're being extra. No, nah, you want to serve? Have a serve. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let me have a serve. No. I mean, it, it, wow. No. That's okay, let's start tricky. with favorite. Favorite has to be. The process of elimination. <laughs> okay. Favorite, favorite. Favorite has to be Mo Flavor. Okay. And do, do I explain why? No, you don't have to if you want to. Yeah. Is it favorite was de- no no no. Let me tell you why I'm saying Mo Flavor. I think because Mo Flavor, I learned so much from Mo Flavor. And he's a radio we guy. Start, and he's a radio guy, you know. And we started off on a rocky. We like used to fight. Yeah. Mo Flavor and I were like we wanted to kill each other. Yeah. But I think um and it, with him it was more of a like. Who's this girl? Like, why are they bringing girls in jail that have no experience in the radio industry? Mm. You know, it the girl. Barbie girl, it girl. Mm. And that was his mentality then mm. until, he, until he actually realized that I really want to learn about radio. I'm in, in this and thing. Because, passionate about the craft. And I'm really passionate about the craft. So once he got to know that, then we started having like the utmost respect for each other. Okay. Um, second is Dineo. Ranak. Flip and love her. You mm. know, I love Dino. I work I love working with Dino. Even when we started, it was a bit rocky, but now we are cool. We are like sisters and she has actually helped me find my voice in radio. Ah, gotcha. I know who I which am. Which is important. Which is very, very important, mm. yeah. Mm. Yeah. And yeah, are we still going to leave? Yes, yes. <laughs> After that, <laughs> who's next? William Long, who is he at? Yo! No. <laughs> <laughs> Somiz is there. Somiz as well. Somiz is number three. Okay. Sumizu I love working. Three. You know why I love working with Somiz because he's so he wants to learn. Mm. You know, it's important to have someone who really wants to make an effort and wants to grow and wants to learn. You don't want to work with people that are arrogant and that come in and think they know everything. Mm. He's he's like. He's so innocent. He just wants to learn. And he's, he's a good sweet. guy. And he's such a good he's guy. So I love Somizu with I all love my Sumizu heart. As well. I mean, if we're rating personalities, he'll be like number one because he's like a dope guy like that. Yeah, and you, you guys know? have a, th- a lot in common. Yeah, he yeah, also yeah, had yeah. a crush on me. Yeah. Oh, he he did? Mm. He's got a crush on everyone. Oh, so Sumizu, wow. like, you gotta blow my bubble like Damn. that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> oh no, he's got a crush on you only. Only you. <laughs> no, but I mean, um, William Le Hong will be Fourth, I yes. think I'll put William Le Hong at the bottom. Okay, for my own personal reasons, yeah. and then because I didn't spend that much time with Bonang, I mean, we only hosted for like two hours. And what happened it. there? Um, I don't know what happened. Yeah, yeah, and I'd rather not speak about it because that always like brings up like silly things, you know. Yeah. But yeah. like, yeah. All right, cool. Uh, speaking about the industry, do you have what's your view on industry friendship? <laughs> very fickle. Yeah. yeah, very very fickle. Um. There's obviously friendships that are really genuine. Mm. And there's friendships that are like, you just don't know where you are. But it's always really important to keep friends that are out of the industry, to have friends that are outside of the industry, just to somehow like ground you. Yes. And just to keep you away from that noise of... Because, I mean, there are... Like, I'm friends with Zintle and Pearl, you know, and we are really, really good friends. But there's always... Naturally. Naturally. Mm. I've known Zintle when I was at Soweto, Soweto TV. Okay. Um, sh- uh, Pearl and I did a show together many years ago. So we've known each other for a very long time. And people don't know that. People always think that the friendships came like, popped up from nowhere. You Do know? you guys argue about who's got the most followers and stuff? No, not even. <laughs> we, we argue about what to wear. <laughs> when we go, like, we argue about who's wearing whose jacket. <laughs> When we go to the club, who's doing what? <laughs> That's the stuff that we argue about. Yeah. And what I love about our friendship is that there's more to it where we sit down. I know with me and Zintle, we sit down and really talk about business. I mean, okay. you know she's like very business-minded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, she's and she was a tomboy me. like you. Exactly. She was a tomboy like me. And we, and she's 
I mean, she will guide you with a lot of things. She's mm. not selfish w- with giving away tips and guidance yeah. to help other people yeah. um, or to help me. I don't know about Joe, <laughs> but <laughs> she's she's honestly not selfish with regards to that. And Pearl, Pearl is flipping crazy. You know, yeah. you need the crazy one in the friendship. Yeah, yeah. So uh, those are the friends that I have in the industry. My best friend is uh, is also in the industry, but he's a journalist. Okay. And he's uh, he's uh, he's he's a journalist and he's also a designer. But my my really like close, 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 close friends are outside of the industry. I mean, uh, I have psychologists that are friends. I have pilots, yeah. female pilots you know, that are friends. You know, so name yeah. dropping. But you it's know. really, I'm just saying, but you, can, you, you need to have friends outside of the industry yeah. and in the industry. And that's what we all do. It's, yeah. it's nothing foreign. Uh, so when you, someone is fake and they, you know, just reaching for cloud, yeah. you can tell. No, you're at that I, point. I, yeah. I pick it up and I move away. Mm. I'm very, it's called ghosting. As this ghosting. Sort of, I go, I, uh, me ghosting relationships and friendships, yeah. I'm a pro at it. And yeah. some people will say, ah, but you know, I, when I sense a bad vibe, because I become such a, I'm such a loyal friend. Yeah. I'm a very loyal friend. I'm a very loyal partner when I'm in a relationship. Mm. Um, so except for that I one say, time. Except that one time. <laughs> and she, yeah, but Liana, he messed up. <laughs> I would have been loyal if he didn't mess up. <laughs> <laughs> if he didn't mess up. Yeah. No, but truly speaking, it's it's I'm I'm such a loyal friend. So if I sense anything offish, I slowly start moving myself from the situation. Yeah. Because it does hurt, you know. Yeah. And because I give my all into a friendship, I become a very loyal friend. Mm. I fight, you know, battles. I beca- you know, I take on wars for friends, mm. which sometimes is not a good thing. Mm. Because now, it, sometimes you fight wars that you shouldn't be They're in. Fighting, yeah. And then later on, they make friends with those people and you're like, ah, but I was fighting. So, it's, but you learn as you go. So, I'm, I'm learning not to fight wars that have nothing to do with me now because sometimes people won't fight the, your wars. Your wars. Yeah, they won't fight your battles. And what do you think about AK and Zintle's relationship? I love them. Mm-hmm. I love them because they love each other. Mm. No, truly speaking, I love them because they love each other. And I believe that they had to go through what they went yeah. through in order for them to be as solid, solid as they are mm. today. Mm. You know, um, they, their love, their love really inspires me. You know, um, they, they like a Bonnie and Clyde. Yeah. Um, and they fucking shit up, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Being around them personally for me, I mean, people always have their little opinions because they are outside. Mm. You know, you see what's happening from outside. You never inside. But I have, I, and I love the fact that they are such amazing parents to such a beautiful girl. Mm. So that also inspires me. I love them together. They're great. They, they, they're compatible. Yeah. They're two different people. But they're very compatible. And um, speaking about the industry, what are relationships like now with you and Casper? You guys cool? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> TBD. <laughs> How? <laughs> Dude, when I saw your tweets, I didn't know you could clap back like that, this bro. This interview was going so well. <laughs> <laughs> the interview is going. No, you but know, you know. The, the the beef is not that deep. Come on now. It's for me personally. Yeah. It's not. It wasn't. Mm-hmm. But it became that. Serious. Honestly. I no. Honestly, I have never been disrespected mm. on that level mm. by someone who knows how hard I work in the industry. Mm. Ever, ever. It's in, different if you don't know. Ever. Exactly. It's different when you don't know. But when someone knows how hard you work and how hard you've worked to be where you are, it's it's so disheartening. Like, it's so heartbreaking, MacGyver. And it, 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 you know, it left a very bitter taste in my mouth. I don't make enemies in the industry. I don't have enemies in the industry. When I don't like you, I don't like you. When you don't like me, you don't like whatever, you know. But that left such a bad taste in my mouth that I would never want to be in the same... You know when I'm in the same... When you're in the same room with someone and you feel like shivers down your spine because you're so mad at the kind of content this person had given out to the country about you knowing very well that it was very dishonest. That's fucked up. What? Mm -hmm. That's fucked up. Was it that bad? It, it wasn't that bad, yeah, but, but it, it became bad. It escalated. Because for me, we 
I was really honestly being a sister. Mm. And I remember I was having a conversation with Pearl and because Pearl is close to him. And I was like, you know, if I wasn't being a sister, then I would say, ah, I was just being funny. But yeah. I was legit being a sister, being like, yo, we got you. Relax. Because we've worked together. Mm. We've been around together. We've chatted together. I was saying, And you love you. his shit. And I love, I, I used to, I still do speak openly about what I think of him business-wise and his career. He's an incredible artist. He's an incredible businessman, you know. But that, w when that, it, it, yo, like it's really like, just listening to that, like how do you say something like that and take it out to, the, to people as truth mm -hmm. when you know it's not? And how do you disrespect a woman in the industry, one of the most hardworking people in the mm. in women in the industry to that level? It, it, was, it, it brought me down for like a day and then I bounced back because I was like, it's okay because mm. he knows the truth. Because mm. you know when you go to bed yeah, yeah, yeah. and you lay your head on that pillow. You know the truth. You know the truth. Wow. That's a beautiful thing about life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when I shut my eyes, I'm like... Hey, dude, and you got no beef with anyone, I bruh. got... No, I really... You know your, your media, lane. Media, media, media and people will create the beef. And it's also... It's how, how mature are we to fall into it? Fall there's prey. Exact, fall prey into it. But there's a lot of people who have fallen prey. And I've watched and I've been like, I'll never be that person. Because now I want to hear it from the horse's mouth. I want to feel that energy from you. That we are not gelling. I will never. If someone says to me, yeah, no, no, no. Magaba does actually does not like Lerato. I've we never spoke some shit on the podcast. Exactly. Mm. I've never sat down with, Lara, with MacGyver. Even if you've said something, but I want to sit down with you mm. and be like, Rena, Rena, you don't like me. <laughs> how, how? I'm that person. And you're fine. Even if I don't like you, you're cool with yeah, it. Yeah, and I'm cool with it. I don't take it to heart. But like, don't, don't lie about it. But it's not only about me. It's just, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a culture that I've seen, especially with men in the South African industry where it's become a norm to belittle women in the entertainment industry, even even radio, hmm. where I've seen radio DJs that have the utmost respect for belittle women on radio because we know that radio has always been like a male-dominated yes, industry. Yes, yes. Radio is like oh, it's for changing. Men. It's changing now. It's, it's, and, and, I'm, and I'm happy that it's changing. Mm. And it's also up to us. But you've seen the comments that they've made about mm. women on radio, women that are DJ, even the DJing. Yeah. I was bullied by some of the biggest DJs in the country. But because I understand my vision and I know what I want to do, mm. and now I'm that person. Me, yeah. Me, I, I, I'm the girl from the street. I'm from the hood. Yeah. You can't stop my goal. Like, if I want something, I'm going to go there and I'm going to get it. You will never stop me. And the more you try and stop me, the more I want to go and get it. <laughs> so, Buzz. Nah, but I'm just saying. But so that was the thing with me and him. We, like, it's, I, I, I yeah, there's nothing there. We don't, I, I, there's no love at all. There's no love at all between me and him. It's gone.